So this is what it looks like after it rains. So it's not that the water, it's not that it rains directly into the back of the Jeep. It's like after the water has set for a minute, it begins to, oh, uh, I don't want to say dissolve. Look at the difference of this. This is the front and this is the back. And so after it sits for a while, then the water starts to come through for some reason on the back end part of the Jeep. And I have the plastic on the wheelchair so it doesn't rain actually in the Jeep. But because it's a soft top, I get these little water pellets. All right, so we're on our way to pick up our order. And so this is what it looks like after it dries up and then the front is still the same. So it's just the back that you see where the water uh, was beginning to kind of come through a little bit. So when it rains, it's not raining inside. It's just afterwards, it's like the like perspir perspiration, like it's perspiring or something. And then once the sun comes out and everything, then of course it dries all up again. And I still have uh, the plastic on the wheelchair so the wheelchair doesn't get wet and it helps and as you can see I have it cracked so that way uh, it just dries up any wetness dampness or what have you so it, it doesn't rust and that's it and today's a beautiful sunny day and it's supposed to be the same way tomorrow so I have to secure in the bag at our favorite Popeyes and we were able to get the rewards. I have to say it was a pretty good day. Now, normally I would say, is it worth it? Is it really worth it to spend the gas going out to eat and be hungry within a couple hours? Well, for me, I would say it was worth it. And the reason I say it was worth it because I really like the spicy fish sandwich. I thought that was pretty darn good and it's not something that I could have made at home. I probably would have had a, a spicy dipping sauce to dip the fish into but there's no way that I would have had like a spicy type of was spicy. And then in addition the sauce on it was spicy. So usually when I make my fish batter I don't put anything spicy in the fish batter like the patty usually isn't spicy but the dipping sauce for the fish is the part that's usually spicy so yes for me it was worth worth spending my gas to go there it was worth the rewards that was given to me and it was worth securing the bag to try something new like I said if I'm gonna go out and eat I want to try something that I cannot cook at home and that was definitely something that I would not have cooked at home I'm very good with, with coming up with a different type of sauce, dipping sauce. And I love different types of dipping sauce. But the way that they actually cook the fish, and it was fresh, it was hot, and it, it, was, it, it wasn't stale. Like sometimes the side of the fish will be kind of crusty and crunchy, and then the rest of it will be soggy. But this entire patty was nice. Uh, the fish was flaky enough, it was good enough, and the spice is just something that I would not probably think about doing at home, just because the way that I normally cook fish. So I thought they did an awesome job. This is something that I most likely will order again. I definitely like the taste, I like spicy foods, and I actually just like the way that they, they prepared it and they cooked it. Now the classic was a little bit sloppy, it had a little bit too much tartar sauce on it, but maybe that's how they're supposed to do it, I don't know. If you don't want that much tartar sauce, I would say ask for them to put it on the side, instead of actually putting it on the sandwich. And why the hell it was smashed, I have no idea why they do that to sandwiches, because usually people like a fluffy bun. 
but such as it is you saw it just the way they gave it to me it took a minute they did cook it fresh and I showed you exactly the way the fish looked so it's up to you if you think it's worth going out to eat I just like trying different types of foods and I'll let you know if it was worth it for me but you got to try for yourself if it's worth the five dollars or six dollars for your budget so let me know in the comment section if you liked it I certainly loved it stop so you can just come right out that gate and then right there at the bus stop and this used to be a Burger King back in the day get a notification that is ready but we're gonna go ahead and drive on up and let them know that we're here and now we forgot to put our free side on the order and this is you know all Popeyes look about the same wherever you are I'm gonna put you guys on hold though Alright guys, so we won $10 today. We're going to just keep it rolling. Alright guys, we're at our favorite 99 And it's actually really clean. It smells good in here. So we're going to try to find some spicy um, avocado. And if you want to bring your wheelchair in, take your time and search through everything. You can do that. Looks like the aisles are even wider now which is really nice but it smells really good in here so we're gonna check it out and see what they have available if candy is on sale some paper towels uh, I'm gonna see how much they are here because I don't see a price So two dollars. Huh. We'll see. We'll see how much these are. Take it up to the top. Now this one is ninety-nine cents, but this one has two doubles, which would equal four. So if it's like $2.99, then it'd be worth it. If it's $3, we may have to put it back and just come get the one. And it's actually a pretty good brand. So, fresh produce. It's 
store is looking really good. I mean, they're doing a marvelous job. Look the bananas. Chip tenders and lime. I've never seen that. Chip flavor inspired season. Breaded chicken tenders with chili lime season. I bet those are good. Let's see here. Looking for spicy avocado. There's our veggies for 99 cents. We could do the soup and veggies. Dang, our spinach is kind of on the expensive side. That sucks. Oh, they got rosemary. Oh, they got mint. I still don't see my spicy avocado. Unnatural. I think I got that last time. Rice pudding. Okay. It doesn't appear that they have the spicy avocado. Shoot. And I was looking forward to eating that. Now there's the coffee. Breakfast blend. Unsweetened. And then there's our little naked drink juice for $1.99. Most of the stores, I noticed, just have the strawberry and banana left. Dang, I really wanted that spicy avocado. So, since they don't have it... Dang, this pole is a pain in the butt. Get these poles so you can't take the cart out the store. Should be tearing up the walls and stuff because you can't hardly get it. Roll right. Sheesh. All right. And it's just all caught. See how it's stuck on that, and then it's stuck on that. So, no spicy avocado. Could get some hummus and some chips. Um, no, I'm gonna have to put y'all on hold till I decide. Now, they always have the little Debbie stuff. I had saw one lady find one box of that little lemon cake, and I haven't seen it since. Basket cakes. It's like lemon flavor. I don't see nothing even close to that. Like, I wouldn't even believe that they actually made that if it wasn't for seeing her holding that box. And she was not letting go of it either. She was trying to find some more herself. Dang, these bonds used to be cheaper too. Everything is going on. This is just crazy. So, I don't know what we're gonna get, y'all. I'm still trying to decide. I wanna get a spinach and garlic pizza. Two for $7.99. That's a pretty good deal. It's a deal drop. Um, I don't know. I was really hoping to get some spicy guacamole. 
Those chip tenders, though, sound really good. And then they have the wings. Crispy wings. Let's see, we can also go to Vaughn's and get their wings for $5.99. And theirs have some french fries with them. But keep in mind, we'd have to spend a little bit of gas to drive over there. Uh, oh, so they put in the chili pack. Chili lime spice pack. And it's a tender. I don't know if I want to do that. All right, y'all. We're going to pass and just see what they got in the chip aisle. They cleaned up everything. Look at the floor. The floor is all clean and mopped and shiny. It smells good. Here's the Easter stuff. Oh, how cute. Look at that. It's a little Easter bunny. So, how are we going to get to the other side with all these buckets on the floor? Here. I'm put you on pause. Okay, we can get some tortillas. Make our own stuff. Dang, I just can't believe these prices are changing. That is crazy. Now these buns are $1.49. Losing my appetite with these prices. Ah, I don't even feel like eating. So, flaxseed supplement for two ninety nine. That's a good deal. Um, they got the noodles. I don't see those one noodles I was looking for. I don't know, y'all. That's just dang. Like I had an idea what I wanted, but since they don't have it, I'm gonna have to plan something different. Oh, here's the other noodles over here. Spicy fry rice. Oh, that's rice. It's not noodles. So, I'm going to keep looking. I can get a salad elsewhere, I guess. Always get a salad. They have the tuna. I guess I could do tuna with some potato chips. Mm. All right, let's check the other aisle for the potato chips. Oh, look at my little legs. Look how much weight I've lost. Can you see my legs? I just have on a t-shirt and some black pants. I guess your legs would look skinnier in black. But look at that. I've lost so much weight. And I still haven't purchased any um, any like fashion like clothes and stuff. Because I didn't want to spend a lot of money until I knew for sure what weight I'll be. I still don't see the potato chips. Hmm. Oh, here's some Easter. Oh, they got the dill drop on the chocolate Oreos. Now, when we were at the Five Below, it was cheaper. Or two dollars, two ninety nine, same price. I don't think y'all be paying attention anyway. Oh, well, there's the water. I've seen this one, natural mineral sparkling water. 
All right, yeah, I don't see any. Oh, here they are. It's chips. So. I don't see our brand that we're looking for. So that's it. We got Taki Taki. We don't want to eat Taki Taki. All right, I'm put y'all on pause. All right, so these end up being like 340 something, so we're gonna put them back because I don't think that that's a deal. I think if it was $2.99, like I said, then it would be a deal. So we're just going to get one roll. And that's it. They didn't have the other stuff we were looking for. And uh, I can't think of anything else that I need at the moment. I have the Clorox. Dang, these aisles are looking really empty. And that's how that other store looked. Here's the deals, the lowest prices with the tuna. All right, let's go. I don't see anything else. Hello. All right, so let's plan on this. These are pretty. Oh, look at those flowers. Mm, this one's pretty. It says lucky on it. That's cool. Mistletoe. Oh, look at these. Huh. All right. Could get another cactus for three dollars. Just have it sitting up in the car. All right, y'all. I'm not really hungry, and I think I lose my appetite every time. So this is one of my favorite ninety nine. to one of the other ones uh, to see what they have in stock those owls were looking really thin so hopefully we'll have better luck at the other location I'm gonna put you guys on pause The ice went up. Can you see? All right, let's head on. Ooh, those are pretty. Take time to smell the roses. I like the other ones they have. These are kind of nice. Ours still say the spooky succulents. All right, so now they have these poles on here. We can't take our cart outdoors. So we have to grab the bag and carry our stuff. But it only keeps me buying little stuff instead of buying a bunch of stuff. Since I don't, since I can't carry much. And that's it. Look how beautiful. So we finally got a little bit of snow, like a sprinkle. That's what it's looking like. They're building some new apartments and business stuff. It's pretty neat. Personally, I was looking for something closer to the beach, but I don't know. I, I, I like um, brick homes, you know, stuff made out of, 
I don't know, something more than just this wood. But we'll see. We'll see what I get blessed with. Keep you guys posted. My steps in today. y'all it's the weekend and we're here at our favorite 99 let's go see what they have today i'm debating if i want to put a vest on i just have on some sweats but i think i put my little vest on hold on put y'all on hold that's cute cute toys for 9.99 It looks like the prices have changed on a lot of this stuff. So, so it's kind of cute. All right, today is Saturday, and I think it's the 9th. 
I like this red lipstick, but I was thinking about going live if anyone wants to go live and see how to work this to be able to go live. Uh, if you want to talk about fasting, intermittent fasting, uh, what I've done for myself, not, on, not only just with fasting, but you know how some people say um, they have to get up at night to use the bathroom and all this kind of stuff. Well, it does help to stop eating and drinking by 5 p.m. But whatever works for you, 5 or 6 p.m., and then you don't eat or drink anything until a.m., 5 or 6, 7 a.m., whatever works best for you. But we could talk about intermittent fasting, or we could talk about the old neighborhoods, anybody that remembers Sugar Hill or the neighborhood that they're in. And um, you can, we can also talk about um, the natives of the West Coast and then uh, people coming in from the South and uh whatever whatever you guys want to chat about today i'm open and i was going to make the time i was trying to edit some videos because i did some food reviews and believe it or not it actually benefits you to sign up for some of the um loyalty programs where they give you the rewards you have to give them an email address you have to give them a real one because you want to be able to interact with them so if you don't want to use your regular email address, then just set one up so you can get the notifications for your rewards. And the other day, I hadn't planned on this, but um, when I went to do a pickup, I was trying to see what can I do being disabled. And I don't believe that doing pickups and stuff and food deliveries, I don't believe that I can do that. One, being disabled and have to get in and out of the car, Two, the vehicle just is not running well enough. And then three, dealing with a lot of these restaurant places. Because even if I wasn't working, and the other day we just started using the app and the fries weren't ordered. So I'm telling her, you know, we just used the app and it offered the free fries, but didn't know how to do it on the app. And she's laughing, being silly and rude, rude about it. Oh, free, ha ha. And it's like, uh, yeah, on your app, they're offering, you know, so forth. So long story short, if I was relying on time to do a pickup and get it to the next location, I wouldn't want to be dealing with no craziness like that. I mean, it's messing with your money. So as soon as I can get this order, take it to whomever the hell just ordered it and get that settled and get to the next customer is how I would make money. So I can't imagine having issues with the restaurant at all any, because that's your money there. You're trying to get from point A to B, C, wherever you got to go to get, get these people their food and you want them to be happy. So you don't want to be, you know, skipping out on anything or missing anything. Um, it's just my take on it. So I don't think that doing deliveries, food deliveries will work for me. I just don't think that that's something that I can do being disabled with all those negatives. Um, positive thing that a lot of people do very well doing it. They're able to pay their bills and it works for them. I'm just looking and trying to see. So it's not really a big issue, but what I did learn is that signing up for those rewards, you definitely do get some some rewards you get benefits for signing up and so i did the review on two fish sandwiches not fish sandwiches a spicy fish sandwich and a um regular classic fish sandwich i did did do a review on two chicken sandwiches of course at carl's jr's and i've been eating at carl's jr's for quite some time now at first i i did not go to that restaurant for different re reasons I was not a person that ate out so now that I'm starting to get the taste buds of what this food is tasting like it's not like my cooking but it is something that can be enjoyable it's convenient and I don't have to cook and it's affordable so for me it works eating out I don't waste food and it's something that I actually enjoy eating if I don't enjoy it I'm not gonna buy it but the two fish sandwiches, the spicy one, I really enjoyed the spicy set, the uh, fish sandwich, the spicy fish sandwich by Popeyes. That was pretty tasty. Uh, the sauce they put on it was pretty good. The classic was the classic, the tartar sauce. Plus it was kind of sloppy and they, I don't know if you smashed it or what, but it wasn't fluffy. So it was okay, but it was classic. It was something that 
I could do without. I wasn't craving it, but the spicy one left a, a lasting memory. It's something that I'm like, hmm, I think I want to try this again. So the spicy fish sandwich at Popeye's tastes pretty good. And because I had signed up online, they gave me some bonus points and they also gave me uh, rewards for signing up. So I put all that towards that particular order and I think I paid less than like $2, $2.13. $2 .13. Little bit of nothing just for signing up. So if you have an uh, email address that you don't care about getting you know, the alerts and all that type of stuff. And if you do care, then open one just so you can get the discounts and the rewards, especially if you normally eat out and you eat at these type of uh, restaurants, then you want to get your rewards. It, it'll be worth it in the end, in the long run. So I have that video that I want to put up. I still have yet to finish editing it. I was going to make a short, long, long version of the video and then a short version of the same video um, just editing it out just to the point of where I waited for the food which I don't mind waiting because it was fresh it was hot and it was worth it but that classic one I don't know I'll, sh I'll show you the picture of it um, when I do the video I guess I'll put it in there I don't know so we'll chat a little bit later